correspondent Luke Walton went to Downing Street on Friday, lucky fella, and spoke to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, the North East has more people on universal credit than any other region in England. By removing the uplift at a time of rising prices, aren't you doing the opposite of levelling up? No, because what you're seeing already is, uh, is wage growth across the country and, and it's levelling up wage growth because it's, uh, it's happening and this is what really, really pleases me. It's happening uh, for, the, uh, for those on lower incomes faster than those at the top of the pay packet. What, what we want to do is to make sure that we help people uh, in this immediate period. Uh, because we've got to recognise that the, the COVID package was for COVID. But as, as that comes to an end, what we want to see is a, a strong jobs-led recovery with, with higher wages. Another, another sign, perhaps, that things are going in the wrong direction. The rate of child poverty in the North East has been rising faster in our region than anywhere else. Again, that's not levelling up, is it? The, the, the North East, as you know, is and if, where there are issues... Uh, where families need particular help, of course we'll help them. But the North East has got incredible uh, prospects. So why is, why is child uh, poverty uh, going uh, up then? Why uh, is it going uh, up? Uh, and the North East is, I think, the, still the only part of the, of the UK which is a, uh, a, a net exporter. Uh, it's got an incredible future. You know, it, you've got the, the new uh, Freeport at Teesside. You've got the mega investments coming in from uh, Nissan, contrary to what uh, some people prophesied and the, you know, the Envision uh, Gigafactory uh, investment as well. You've got the economic campus coming in at, uh, at Darlington. Uh, huge, huge investment and a, and a real sense of positivity and energy about the North East. Now, that is, is the way forward. Of course, you've got to look after people on low incomes. One of the criticisms, though, of levelling up is that essentially it's an empty slogan. You, there's no way of actually measuring it. So we'll, I've, to, just to take, you, well, to I've just given, given you the most given important some metric. Exa you've yeah, you've given us no, no, some I've businesses. Given, I've given you, no, I've that, given you the most important metric, which is, uh, I mean, never mind life expectancy, never mind, uh, uh, you know, cancer outcomes. Or look at look at wage growth. Well, wage uh, growth is now being experienced faster by those on the lower in the incomes. short term, but long term. You say, you, here's you, you, a, here's you a metric. Say that. Okay, in short, but, but, but okay, actually, here's, a, but here's actually, another it metric. It hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. For, for 10 years or more. Well, here's another... And, and here's that an, is what I mean by levelling up. Here's another metric, which is bringing down the rate of northeast unemployment to the national average. Will you commit to be judged on that at the next election? I want to see jobs created in the northeast, And it's people like... Uh, yes ben, or no ben, to that, that metric? I, I, will, I, will, I will tell you something. I will, 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 the whole government will work its guts out to achieve that.